guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I've got another unboxing. This is, it was payday the other day. We bought the N64 video coming for that one. Open it up, see what's what's actually inside the N64, give it a good clean up and stuff. So that, that's incoming. Bought another one. Didn't buy an N64, but I'll assume that I've put in the title now filming, but thinking I must have. Yeah, enough waffling. Right, another unboxing for you. Now this one's been, this is not my address, don't worry about that. This is in a shoebox. And I bet you can guess what's inside. So there we have it. Let's go through bit by bit and see if we can figure out exactly what's inside here. Oh, this is very nicely, um, Bubble wrapped and brown tape. This is how I'd wrap up stuff anyway, I think. Make it really awkward for the seller, the buyer, to um, get these unwrapped. So seller tape on seller tape. Oh, I hate seller tape on cables. So that's been there a while actually. Right, so we have a Gamester LMP joypad. Six button joypad. It's very much like the, um, like a similar -ish Mega Drive, but not. I think you can guess already what we've got in here anyway, because it's there. And we have a standard Sega, who guessed it, Sega Saturn RF unit. And luckily for me, where are we? This arrived today as well. So this is a SCART cable for the Sega Saturn. So we can use that straight away instead of using the RF. I tried using the, oh, the composite on the N64 and it's not very good to be honest, but it is an old console and to be honest, you're gonna get that anyway. So another Gamester LMP controller. That's a little different. Why is that different on the center there? I don't like this controller at all. It does work. Just strange how that's like that and that's like that. So that's like the old Mega Drive and that's like like a drafts piece. I wonder if that's meant to be like, I wonder if that fell off and then, well that fell off of here and this is actually a draft piece being stuck on. I don't know. But I'm going to get a proper controller for this anyway. So. With the N64, because I've got to compare these side by side because aren't they both the same generation? We did get a lot of games with it and that was absolutely brilliant getting so many games. Unfortunately, I only got the one and this actually feels really heavy. Why would a disc game feel really heavy? Oh, because it's got a massive manual inside it and one disc. So we've got Sega Saturn, Sega Rally to try this on. There are mods we can do with the Saturn, and we'll see how good or bad the actual control, the, the unit is in a second or two. That doesn't seem to stick in there very well. This quality, yeah, it's not too bad. It should play all right. This is an original. I like having at least one original game with each console. It's strange how it's cardboard on the outside. Easily new. Oh, that's a shame that's been stuck on. Date 16th of the 9th, so that's September 96. Okay, so I was, um, yes, I wasn't in my job in 96. I was in a different job. How much that actually was when they bought it. Hmm. So Sega Saturn. Oh, what is this other cable? Okay, hold on. We've got two controllers, we've got an RF cable. Go to that. It'll be another. I'll be it's a, a scar cable. Oh no! Oh no! It's a power cable. Unlike the N64, this comes with an inbuilt power supply. N64. It, I, I understand why they did it. It looks good when you've got it on your shelf without its big bulky power supply and it's really lightweight. 
but it's nice just to go, hey, oh, I forgot my cable. There you go, just use one of mine, because they're all like figure eight cables that they use, which is good. Instead of going, oh, I forgot my power supply. Well, I ain't got one. But you would take the power supply with it anyway, if you're going to your friend's house. So we have a little bit dirty Mark II, I think it is, Sega Saturn. And there's a crack across there to start with. Reset, power, and open. Is that a crack or is it a... Actually, it... it's not a crack. That's where the plastic goes across. Okay, that's fine. It's dirty as it is. Ugh. Cartridge slot, I don't know what cartridge goes in there. If it's game cartridge, memory cartridge, because on the... Ooh. On the N64, sorry for pausing by the way, I'm just trying to think what I'm doing. The N64 did actually have a memory upgrade, which I figured out because on the front, if that's just for a cartridge and everything's all built into this, then fine. Different controls, so we can't use any older ones. It's good it's got that part, because that is where I would like to get, is it a Phantom? The card which actually just, just slots inside there. There's a ribbon, there's a multi-connector down in the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I haven't got a torch, so I can't show you in the light. Just won't get it. I'm assuming that battery's dead. But we have 80200A500. Both feet there, foam feet, well, yeah, padded feet. That's good. See, apart from the dirt, I can't see any faults with this. So I'm actually relatively quite happy, except, f yeah. Right. Shall we see if it powers on? Really shouldn't do this, but actually, no, I don't do that. I've got my own cable here, actually. <laughs> so let's see to start with if this powers on and switch on it did say that it, this did light up and it does so turn you around it does light up so it is working shall we say shall we take the disc out and see if we can get no nope, that's not I keep pressing the reset button Thinking it's the eject, but it isn't, it's there. So let me listen to see if, or I can see actually, the disc goes round. Let's have a look. There you go. So that is working then. It's slowing down, it's brushing against something. I think. It's definitely brushing on something. Whether or not it's a piece of dust and the disc's a little bit warped, I don't know. Right, so power on works fine. It's not like it's blown up on me. Let me get the SCART lead on and, and this plugged up the disc in and we'll see if this actually does properly work on the TV. Now, you're in your usual position on the tripod in front of where the bench is anyway and I'm over here this time. Right. Saturn's there, Sega Rally's in. It's on the SCART, it's over there anyway, so let's see. Okay, I've got the controller wired up. That works fine. Okay, I'm English. Press A. And exit. Oh, what day I want today? Is it the third? Jesus, how could it be in 2020? And... There you go, that's movie magic for you. Oh no! Ah, oh, forget it. Thank you. 
that cable out of the way. It's actually a lot better picture quality. Apart from there's a this strange wobbling going up the screen. I don't know what it is. Get you up a little bit. So it is working. Six sports. I'll press the start button. Sega Rally Championship. I'm not sure you can hear that. Grant, I will be doing better videos with this when we get the it stripped down. And get the TV to focus. Well, the camera to focus on the TV. See, the graphics on that is shockingly bad. Let's try an auto. That's Celica. Ooh. Let's go for Toyota, shall we? And for one, this is actually working perfect. And I wasn't even sure this would work at all. Three, two, one, go. What's acceleration? There it is. Okay. That effect on the ground looks weird. Is that meant to be like that then? I don't know. Behind the wheels is a bit weird. So that's brake then, is that handbrake? Alright, let's get on with it, shall we? Must be that pronounced. Well, maybe just. Not that easy, right? The helicopter. Okay. So that's not too bad at all. Uh, it's working pretty much as I'd expect it. Yeah! And there we go. Discs out. I'm actually finding there's actually a loading screen here. Drive door open. Looks like it's a media player. Possibly, I don't know if it's CD, VCD, or whether it's just CD. I don't have either, to be honest. But, yeah. I'd probably say it's just a CD. Set CD and G channel. Okay and system settings. So, for this, with the Sega Saturn, there was nothing that the guy said he couldn't test it. I know they always say stuff like that. Untested, can't test it, didn't test it. But then he's noticed that the, the, the light did come on when you pull up, put the cable in. He's got everything to test it anyway, a game, the RF cable, but wouldn't was not willing to test it, which is fine on some point, because this was only £40. I mean, the Saturn, no, the Saturn, the, the, the N N64, granted that was £60, and I had a stack load of games with it. I need to check which ones of those work yet yeah, anyway. I might do them at the weekend on a live stream. But that was an absolute massive bargain, having that N64. This ain't bad. For a fully working, just needs a damn good clean-up to start with. Sega Saturn. And I don't have a Sega Saturn, I have the Mega Drive 1, the Mega Drive 2, I have the Dreamcast, so after this generation, and I have this. So I've kind of got a oh, got the Master System, I've got the Game Gear as well, but I haven't got a Master System. So I need three versions of Master System, yeah, I forget, well we'll get around to that eventually one day. But the minute, 40 quid on eBay, done, with no guarantees it would work, it's working perfect.
So another video will be, I'm going to strip this down, have a look inside. Possibly in the future we can do... There is a mod like the Dreamcast mod that you take the CD gubbins out and put an SD card. There is also, that is the cheaper version. There is also the Phantom mod. I'm sure it's called the Phantom. Not quite sure. But that goes into the slot there. That does need replacing, I'm sure it does. Which that would be nicer to do if it goes in there and then you just close it up and you can still use it as a CD drive as well, it looks like. But I think that's still in, in prototype or or whatever anyway, so I don't think we're going to see one of those pretty soon anyway. But at the minute, another bargain for the garage. And another project to do, which is really nice. We'll run out on projects eventually, I'm sure we will. But at the minute, let's keep them coming. Different socket there for the controller. Yeah, brilliant. Hope you like that. Please, yeah, like, subscribe, follow me on social media. Um, donate if you'd like, be a Patreon, help out the channel, it helps me get two places, it doesn't help, with the amount of pa Patreons I get, it doesn't help me to get actually buy different things for you guys, that's not what this is about, I don't want anybody to go, here you go, it's 50 quid, go buy yourself a PlayStation, that's not what we're all about, it's just to try and get to places before things like this get thrown in the bin, get rejected and get... Thank you. And get dumped. And and I, I can't abide seeing controllers and and consoles and anything just being thrown away. But if somebody, if he didn't want this and he, if he knew it was worth £100, great. And it stayed. It's probably worth double what I paid for it. But hey-ho, we've got a bargain in the garage. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. Hope you like. Keep Stay tuned to more for more Sega Saturn stuff. And I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.